Greetings, everyone. Dirk Knudsen with Tualatin Valley Tales. We're going to talk about the Methodist Meeting House in Hillsborough, Oregon. Now, it starts off with this gentleman, Colonel Joe Meek. He came out west and was one of the greatest trappers up in the mountains in the Rockies through about the 1830s. When the beaver fur trade ran out, he found himself a Nez Perce wife, Virginia, and she came with him along with some other pioneers, and they headed west out to Oregon before it was even the Oregon Territory, and they got themselves a land claim in the Tualatin Plains east of Hillsboro. Now their neighbors were Edward and Priscilla Constable. Each family had about 600 acres and things were going great around 1843. Everyone was settling in. Now Edward and Priscilla decided to let the Methodist Church build a meeting house on their property. Here's their home in the woods nearby. The Methodists were holding uh, Methodist meetings and they would gather everybody and preach the word and this was native people and pioneer people and on the property East of Hillsboro was a little house, little structure like that. Now Colonel Joe's raising his family, and off he goes to help formate, uh, formulate the Oregon Territory. And here's a picture of he and his wife Virginia. Joe's extremely important, but Virginia even more so because she gives Joe ten wonderful children. Unfortunately, in pioneer times, it was pretty tough, and they lost five of their kids. So there's a lot of history about Joe Meek and Virginia. So Joe and Virginia are buried with five of the kids over at the Old Scots Church. So here's their grave sites, but the other five were never exhumed and they still are at the Methodist Meeting House site. We have Lizzie Constable telling us about that in 1925 in the newspaper. Ken Meyer Jurgen lived on the property for 40 years. He wrote a book, talked about it. So did Lester Mooberry, the great historian and educator. After those gentlemen came Ray Haig and Ray wrote one of the greatest pieces of work on it where he talks about Edward and Priscilla, about the site, and about the evidence that has been gathered. Now here's the woods in 1955, top of the screen. Here's the woods in 1965, and in those woods were the quote-unquote mounds and relics from the old church building and the surrounding structures. Here's a picture from 1986, and in 1986, 1985, in come the bulldozers, and the landowner decided to take that property apart, take the trees down, there was opposition at that time, then it dies down again. Here are pictures from 2013 when the city was getting ready to widen the street, now known as Star Boulevard. They did their work, they did a great job along with uh, members of different tribes that came and used ground penetrating radar, but no one found any signs of these five children. But here's the thing, as this development pushes east from Hillsboro, these graves and the old protected meeting house site has needed further look. So we've gathered some people together. We've begun to look at the historical pictures and look at the work that was done. And we're convinced that we cannot allow any further work until more ground penetrating radar is done. And the site is historic. So we're working with our city to help us preserve a one acre site, which was promised in 2004. I'm with the Five Oaks Discovery Coalition, and we're working with the Meek Plains historians, our neighbors and friends, and together, we're going to find these five children, if at all possible, and we're going to work with our city and hopefully the developer to come out with a great solution so that we have a perpetual one-acre memorial site for the Methodist Meeting House, for the five children of Joe and Virginia Meek, and for the Tualatin Plains, which are so very historic. Come join us.